Welcome back also to Facebook, inside the Facebook page of Corpo Giardino Yoga Practices. Welcome back into this weekly appointment of, of a late afternoon on a Sunday late afternoon. Every week I share with, in my Instagram account and in Corpo Giardino Yoga Practices Facebook page, practices, rituals and conversations about how we can empower the relationship with our bodies through two main tools, yoga and mesocycle awareness. Welcome back. My name is Andrea and nice to meet you. If you don't know you yet, I am the founder of Corpo Giardino Yoga Practices and I encourage women in um, empowering the relationship with their body through yoga and cycle awareness and mental cycle awareness. In the meantime, that we wait for people to join this live, <clears throat> you can say hi and from where you are connecting, from, from, from where you're watching this live video in Facebook and Instagram, and uh, what's going on on your Sunday. How do you feel in this late Sunday evening? Today, we're going to talk about and I share, I'm going to share with you a ritual, a 10 minutes ritual that you can practice at the beginning of your menstrual cycle. On day number one of your menstrual cycle, at the beginning of your inner winter, when you start to bleed. It's a um, very important and particular time and moment of your cycle because it blends basically the end of a cycle and at the beginning of a new one as everything in nature there is no the boundaries between the end and the new beginning they are not so clear they are not so defined so it's a very blurry moment but very powerful and transformative so on the day number one of the cycle is when we bleed we enter officially the inner winter the inner winter is the time from two to five days uh, of our menstrual cycle where we retreat, where we naturally have the tendency to retreat ourselves, to separate ourselves from the rest of the world, of the rest of society, and enter this very uh, intimate and profound uh, inner landscape that we have. It's a very particular moment to connect to a deeper layer of ourselves and be less extrovert and be more introvert in the sense of retreating inward. The ritual that I'm going to share with you today is very easy. It's made by journaling prompts that you can use uh, as a way of using this the cycle, the menstrual cycle as an orientation map to go cycle after cycle, cycle after cycle. What I normally encourage my students to do is to prepare, number one, prepare your sacred space. The sacred space is the space where you normally practice yoga at home, a space that is big enough, that it's clean, there's enough light, and it's very personal and unique. What you see in this video, it's my personal uh, sacred space at home, I love to practice near a window, in a corner, because I feel more safe and protected. I'm surrounded by plants and other objects that I know and that have very particular meaning for me. And that's why it's so personal, personal and unique. It's up to you to um, create it in any time and in any way you want at the end. You can use candles, you can use incense if you want. You can use any type of elements that resonate with you deeply with yourself. The point number two is a nice and soothing yoga practice that we're not going to do this today, but you can, I normally encourage people and my students to practice um, yoga nidra, restorative yoga or yin yoga, really as a form of support and nourishment for the, this time of the month where we need more rest and restoration and the yoga practice can really support us in this. After the yoga practice that helped us to connect to a deeper layer of ourselves, a very intimate layer with ourselves, now we can begin the second part of the ritual which is a journaling practice exercise. And we can do it together 
today. But before we begin, let's close our eyes for a couple of breaths. So find a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Relax your face, relax your chin slightly to your sternum. Take a nice inhale with your nose. Then another sip. Hold your breath. And out with your mouth. Again, inhale with your nose. Another sip. Hold. And out. Last one, another inhale with the nose. Another sip through your nose. Hold your breath. And out. <clears throat> Stay with your eyes closed for a couple of breaths. And gently open up your eyes again, coming back in your sacred space, if you are in your sacred space. So now is the time to take your journal with you or something to write on and go through three mainly questions. Remember, these three main questions will help you to use the cycle as an orientation map a moment of accountability and a tool to learn how to flow and navigate cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle. So the first question that I'm asking you and you to ask yourself is, considering what happened in, in the last month, on any level you want, personal level, professional level, intimate relationship with your self level, what is it time to let go? What am I ready to let go? Maybe it's a more precise question. What am I ready to let go? Considering your last month of the cycle, considering what happened in the last 28 days, when was the last time you had the menstruation? So what happened in the last 28 days? What am I willing, what am I ready to let go, finally? So the first part is to look back, reflect and evaluate. The second question that I would love you to ask yourself is, what do I wanna keep? What was working really well in the last month, in the last 20 days, 28 days, that worked so well for yourself that you want to keep it also for your next cycle? It can be something very simple or something majestic and big. So the second question is, what was working really well? Again, in, in, in evaluation time, to see what you can keep for the next one. The third and final question is, what do I want to call in for the next cycle, for the next 28 days? What do I want to call in? Because now, as we created space, by letting go something, we have space to call something else in our life. So the, the, the day number one of the inner winter, of the new cycle, is a day and a moment for evaluation, reflection, but also to adjust the route where it's needed. A metaphor that I always use, that imagine that you are on a boat and you're resting 
near the coast because it's time to rest. You want to take a break. And you evaluate on your travel of the last 28 days. You observe what worked, what didn't work in your travel and you have the time now to adjust the route of your boat or just the route of your life for the next 28 days, for your next cycle. As you can see, the inner winter, the menstruation, is a time to reflect, is a time to evaluate. That's why we are naturally also, we have the tendency to retreat inward and to ask ourselves meaningful questions. And the depth of the question, this it's up to you, basically. It's up to you how deep you want to go. It's up to you if you want to ask these questions on a superficial level, in your personal life, in your relationships, in your work, <clears throat> or if you want to go a bit more deeper and use these questions for deeper aspect and matters of your life. And this is the power of a self inquiry practice like yoga and mesocycle awareness. You will face aspects of your life when you will be ready. You will face aspects of your life when you will be ready. At the beginning, probably, it will remain very superficial. It will remain very easy to manage the, the more you do this practice and the more you grow that you have the chance and the opportunity to go a bit more deeper and then gets a bit more complicated but that's another topic and <laughs> another facebook live so to recap the three questions they are reflecting on the last month what did it work for me very well reflecting on the last month, <clears throat> what didn't work for me very well, and I'm ready to let go. Am I willing to let go? Question number three, what do I want to call in? What is my intention for the next month? You can use these three questions anytime something is ending and the new is beginning. Anytime you change a job, you're in a relationship ends, project ends, Use these three questions as a form of evaluation and adjustment of your route. And why it's so important to keep, to stop and to reflect on that. It's important because it gives us accountability of our uh, path. It gives us a moment to reflect and adjust so we keep uh, we avoid to keep repeating over and over and over again the same things and complaining about it because we never stop to evaluate and to reflect. It's important you can then we can use the cycle as an orientation map for, for personal development and personal growth. And it's important because then we can discover the magic of our body, of our wisdom of a cycle which is a cyclical nature that is the main essence of life is the main essence of life that is like this since millions of years since the beginning and we as women we have the privilege and the honor and uh, responsibility also to go through this cycle every month with our menstruation. The four seasons of the menstruation are a reflection of the four phases of the lunar cycle. And the four phases of any form of life on Earth. Birth, life, dissolution and pose. Or birth and death. Birth and death. Death and birth. Death and birth. And we have the, the power and the privilege to go through this cycle every month and it's an honor it's a really an honor <clears throat> for me to share these informations with other women because i would pay now 
to tell my younger self the information that I have right now about the menstrual cycle. So maybe I could take different decisions in my life. And I could be, maybe was able to stay more connected with myself and who I am and where is my path was going. Tell me and share with me um, next time you have your period, if you're interested in um, apply this very uh, simple ritual, which is a journaling prompts exercise for your the beginning of the inner winter, which is the beginning of a new menstrual cycle, day number one of the period when we bleed. These are the three main questions, and share with me how you felt. Share with me what came up if you want, and if this tool was useful for you to see your cycle in a different way, to change and shift perspective about your menstruation, which is, doesn't have to be something that is only painful and only annoying, but it's truly and deeply powerful. It's a wild power, as Red Cool says. It's really a wild power. And if you're interested to go a bit more in depth, about how to synchronize yoga with your master cycle. I created a free masterclass on the February the 13th. <clears throat> so it's in two weeks, two hours, where we're going to explore how we can synchronize our yoga practice with a different set of needs, strengths, and challenges we face in the each seasons of the cycle. We learn how to track the cycle and the four seasons we learn how it's important and how you can start to structure your yoga practice around it to live in more in harmony and in this beautiful flow with life and cyclical way of living. Thank you a lot for staying with me. Check the link that I'm sharing in this post to sign up for the masterclass. And if you have questions or if you have particular wishes around yoga and mesocycle awareness, Simply contact me. I'm here for you. My job is to create content for you, for the, the, the women interested in, in empowering themselves in um, with the relationship with the body through yoga and mesocycle events. So thank you. Thank you a lot for being with me and see you next week. Bye.